This video contains spoilers for everything within the Danganronpa universe except for V3. If you haven't played V3, then you're safe, but be aware that everything else is fair game. Enjoy the video. I've been thinking about all this. At times like this, what would Sakura do? You only get stronger by taking adversity by the horns. Confront that thorny path with enthusiasm. That sounds like something she'd say, right? No, I think that's definitely what she'd say. Hello and welcome to Danganronpa 101, the series that breaks down everyone and everything in the Danganronpa world. And today, we are going to be delving into the depths of the ultimate swimming pro and donut enthusiast, Aoi Asahina. Aoi Asahina is an incredibly friendly and phenomenally athletic student who was part of the 78th class of Hope's Peak Academy, and thus a participant in the killing game featured in Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. Aoi is best described as warm, empathetic, and exceptionally prone to her own emotions, harboring strong beliefs that made her an invaluable asset during the killing school life game, for the most part. I say for the most part because one of her other most notable traits is being just ever so slightly too extremely airheaded, which makes Aoi very susceptible to falling for traps and amongst the easiest of the 70th class to accept almost any lie presented. Aoi is also a pure powerhouse of energy and holds a personal belief that she simply must keep moving in order to survive, which has led to her joining no less than six different sporting teams. However, this is very much at odds with her extremely gluttonous side as Aoi is also a huge fan of any sort of sweet food, with a particular obsession dedicated towards delicious fried dough rings, better known as donuts. As a result, Aoi often displays her fear of gaining weight. However, that is all but impossible given her active lifestyle with her primary talent in the area of swimming and thus leading her to be accepted into Hope's Peak Academy as the ultimate swimming pro. Unfortunately, as stated before, this acceptance would lead Aoi to becoming sealed within Hope's Peak Academy when the tragedy struck the world. And Aoi's memories would go on to be erased by her fellow classmate Junko Inoshima, who then forced the remainder of the 78th class to participate in a killing game. Now, Aoi is one of the more pure-hearted members of the class, at a particularly hard time with the ensuing events of the game, often becoming depressed and mourning each loss of the classmates that she had developed such strong bonds with in such a minimal amount of time. And it should be said that the strongest of these bonds was without a doubt with Sakura Ogami, the ultimate martial artist. Initially, the two became friends due to their mutual interest in physical activity, particular niche diet items, and a general love of all things sport. This bond was so great that when Sakura was revealed to be Monokuma's mole against the class, Aoi simply refused to believe it, and even when Sakura herself confirmed this fact, Aoi still continued to put her faith in Sakura. And of course, when Sakura committed suicide, Aoi was hit the hardest, even briefly succumbing to despair with a little help from some falsified evidence courtesy of a certain Monokuma, of course. But for much of the fourth class trial, Aoi's goal was to kill herself as well as the rest of her classmates, whom she believed were to blame for Sakura's actions. However, Aoi is eventually rescued from this path of destruction by Makoto and the remaining students and became united in an effort to bring down the mastermind of the killing game, which resulted in the defeat of the ultimate despair, Junko Onoshima. As one of the six survivors of the Killing School Life game, Aoi went on to join the Future Foundation, determined to avenge Sakura's death and counter the despair that had spread throughout the world. Unfortunately, this led her to becoming a participant in a second killing game that was arranged under the guise of putting her classmate Makoto Naegi on trial for treason within the Future Foundation. And while this game did threaten to plunge all of the participants into despair once more, it should be noted that by this time, Aoi had undergone considerable mental growth. And despite the horrors inflicted around her, she remained strong with a profound belief that she and her friends would survive this game as well. This led Aoi to being a much more useful participant in this particular game, and even put her combat skills on display during a brief skirmish with Juzo, who was formerly known as the Ultimate Boxer. And this is particularly important to note because during this game, each of the contestants were given a forbidden action, which would result in their deaths if it was performed. And in Aoi's case, her forbidden action was rather simply getting hit by a punch or a kick. And so Aoi's bravery would play an integral part in ending this killing game, after which it was decided by the Future Foundation that Hope's Peak Academy would be rebuilt, and from here, Aoi worked alongside her former classmates to bring this to fruition. Some more fun facts about Aoi Asahina. In the bad ending of Trigger Happy Havoc, an alternate reality is presented, where the remaining students live out their lives within the confines of Host Big Academy, with Aoi being the only female survivor and becoming the mother of Makoto, Hagakure, and presumably Byakuya's children. Prior to her life in Hope's Peak Academy, the closest person to Aoi was her younger brother, Yuta, who was an exceptional swimmer, although he himself admitted that Aoi was always better. And just to add to the mountain of tragedy that has befallen Aoi specifically, Yuta would be killed during the events of Ultra Despair Girls. Despite being a survivor of Killing School Life, an execution had still been planned for Aoi should it have been needed, and it was known as the Water Illusion Show, whereby Monokuma would appear dressed as a magician with Aoi in a water tank. He would then drop the curtain, and Aoi would proceed to be eaten by sharks. And by the time the curtain was raised again, there would be no remains. Sounds very familiar, doesn't it? 
like a certain other execution that would be used in the future. So just in case anyone was interested, other than swimming, the five other sports how we engaged in and excelled at were baseball, basketball, volleyball, tennis, and track and field. Aoi is also one of only four characters to have survived two killing games within the Danganronpa series, with the others being Makoto Naegi, Kyoko Kirigiri, and Hajime Hinata. And finally, a truly useless fact about underwear. During her high school days, Aoi apparently wore plain white underwear, which whilst comfortable, did come with a slight drawback for her, as they became see-through if she swam with them. But that pretty much does it for Aoi Asahina. If you enjoyed this video and the content this channel produces in general, then please do consider donating to the New World Review Patreon because the support of all of your amazing people is what continues to make this channel possible. And if Patreon isn't quite your style, then please do leave this video a like, share, or subscribe because it also helps support this channel an incredible amount. And if you'd like to join the fun at any time, then please do head over to my Discord server where a wide array of shenanigans retakes place on a daily basis. And finally, please do comment with who, what, or where you'd like to see featured in the next Danganronpa 101.